Hey guys, so today I'm doing a makeup tutorial using only my favorite products of life. So it's kind of like a favorites video in a makeup tutorial. So I'm going to start with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is incredible. I talk about this in every single video. It basically just covers any veins on my eyelids and makes the eyeshadow stay on longer. Now taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, I'm just going to use this to set my eyelid. This stuff is incredible and it is so cheap. It works in so many different ways as well. You can use it to set under the eyes, you can use it to set the whole face and also to bake. So it's like a win-win product. Next, I'm taking the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Chickadee. Makeup Geek eyeshadows are my favorite brand, my favorite, oh girl, my favorite formula. They just blend so seamlessly on the eye. They're really pigmented and intense and just everything you would want in an eyeshadow. Now I'm taking the shade Frappe. It's really quite sad that I know all these names off by heart. <laughs> A little obsessed. Whoops. So this one's... <clears throat> okay, I really need some help with my um, voice box today. Sorry about that. This one's going directly in the crease um, just to add some definition. Then I'm going to take a really big fat blending brush and buff it out so it's super seamless. You know what's next, girl? Just cleaning up that eyeshadow to make a super harsh line and also picking up the fallout. For the lid color, I'm taking the shade Grandstand. This is a beautiful foiled eyeshadow. I'm just gonna pack this all over the lid for a nice pop of shimmer. And then of course, I'm gonna take a blending brush for the last time and give her a whirl. Now taking my little baby, this is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base. It just provides a really nice base for the foundation to sit on, especially if you do have a dry skin, it just really nourishes it. And I find that the foundation goes on super smooth over the top of this as well. For foundation, I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way. This one's in the shade Warm Beige. And you know what is super annoying? Usually I have a different tan on and it matches perfectly, but today that is not the case. So this one is my favorite foundation of all time. It has a really nice medium to full coverage. The finish is beautiful and there are a lot of colors in the color range. So I'm just super happy with this foundation. It is my second bottle now. Now for concealer, I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I really like this one because especially the applicator just applies it so well and it applies so much product at once. So it just makes it easy for me because I like to apply a lot of concealer. The shade that I have is spot on. I really like to highlight under the eyes. And of course, the formula, last but not least, is amazing. One of the best, actually no, the best formulas I've ever used in a concealer. It doesn't crease and it covers everything you wanna cover. Now it's time for a little bit of cream contouring. I'm taking my Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the shade 6.5. The main reason I love this is because it adds a little bit of extra coverage on my cheeks while I'm contouring. Usually when I use other products, it kind of fades away the foundation and you can see a little bit of acne sky on my cheeks. So I really love this one. And number two, the fact that the shade is just so bronzy and warm tone is just right up my alley. It is just such a beautiful color so i'm putting this under my cheekbones and also around the sides of my head to make it look like i <laughs> went outside in the sun <laughs> gotcha now taking my laura mercier translucent loose setting powder i'm using this to bake under my eyes i've gone through two of these tubs now i absolutely swear by this product but I did just find a product that was a lot cheaper and that I like just as much, if not more. But I'm still testing it out before I put it in my favorites, so I'll keep you guys updated. For the brows, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. I like this one because it just applies really easily. It's like a pomade gel moussey consistency and it also lasts a really long time as well. Like, wouldn't surprise me if it's waterproof. I also take my Laura Mercier powder all over my face to set everything down and honey, that stuff doesn't budge at all. For the brows, I'm taking the Tint My Brow Astralis Brow Tint just to add some texture in my brows. Oh my God, I have like 20 of these. <laughs> I love it so much and it's so cheap. With a really light hand, I'm taking the shade by Makeup Geek in the shade White Lies. I'm just putting this directly under my eyebrow to add a little bit of a highlight, but nothing too dramatic. Picking up the shade Frappe, I'm putting this from inner corner to outer corner to even out the eyeshadow look. Then I'm going in with the shade Chickadee, pretty much putting this over the top just for a nice wash of like yellowy orange. I think this is the coolest color. I love it so much. 
Going in with my L'Oreal Telescopic Extra Black Mascara. This one has been a favorite of mine for at least two years now. It is really good at just separating the lashes and making them super long and the wand is just really easy to apply. I've never had a problem with like poking my skin and getting black everywhere. It's just really, really good. Definitely recommend this one. Now taking the Tarte Inner Rim Liner, this is kind of like a skin tone shade but a few tones lighter so it really opens up that waterline. I do think my eyes are really sensitive to this product, um, I'm not too sure if it is this product, I think it is though, which is really sad. <laughs> Now taking my Lily Lashes in the style J Makeup. This is my favorite brand along with Huda Beauty just because they last so incredibly long. Now for contouring, I'm taking the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. Everyone and their mums love this product. The shade is just really good because it doesn't get ashy if you put too much on. It just makes the cheeks look so snatched. The brush that I'm using is the Eda Brush by NARS and it applies any contour so easily and really harsh. To add a bit of color into the face, I'm taking the MAC bronzer in the shade Give Me Sun. I honestly cannot believe that this product is still alive. Like I thought I would have used it all by now. So just warming up my face, putting this on my cheekbones around the whole perimeter of my face. And it just adds that beautiful, beautiful sun kiss glow. I cannot recommend this bronzer enough. Now taking my Taylor Blue Contour Kit, I'm picking up the shade at number two. It's really weird to say this, but it almost feels like this product is moisturizing under the eyes. A lot of powders seem to go really crusty and flaky looking like really dry, but this one isn't dry at all. It's really smooth and buttery. So just highlighting wherever I want to be brighter. I haven't used the contouring shades yet, but I will keep you guys updated because I'm sure they're just as good. When it comes to blush, I don't particularly have a favorite brand or a favorite color. I pretty much just use whatever and they all seem to work for me. So this is the MAC blush in the shade Margin. It's a really nice pinky coral shade with a lot of shimmer and I'm all about that glow. Speaking of glow, I'm taking the Jeffree Star highlight in the shade King Tut. This is the most pigmented, creamy highlight I've ever used. It is the most intense highlight I've ever used and it is stunning. Dunning. Like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? The lip liner that I'm using today is from Too Faced. I've been using this one for so many months and there's still product left in there. And I don't really know how, but it's just super easy to apply because it's creamy. It's a retractable lip pencil, so you don't have to sharpen it. That really grinds my gears. Yeah, I really like it. So now going in with my Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mannequin. It is such a beautiful shade, like an everyday nudie pink. It is absolutely stunning. It lasts a pretty long time. The only thing I don't like about it is it reeks. It smells really bad. I'm sure some people would like the smell, but I just don't. Now taking my Kylie Jenner lip gloss. This is the lighter shade. I'm just going to douse my lips in this because I love a glossy lip. This is such a gorgeous color. So here we have the finished look. I really hope you guys like it. I think it is stunning. I just feel so glam and put together. Every product in this video, as you would know, is 100% 10 out of 10. I love you guys so much and I will speak to you very soon. Bye. <laughs> look at that hair flip. Bye.